Hey everyone, this week I had an unexpected lesson slash surprising success that I did not expect at all. Um, last week was rough. Toby was waking up every two and a half hours, every night, all night long, and that was rough, very rough. And I was completely exhausted and tired, and then we had early mornings. I didn't really get nap times in much, and... But the good thing, though, is it really, um, I want to say it really tried my patience, but it really increased my patience, I want to say, because I think last week I really, like, it was very much more, because I knew I was so tired, it was more of a mental, like, okay, I have to keep my emotions in check because I'm completely exhausted and tired and I know this ahead of time. And so I knew, like, any time my emotions were going to start to rise, that it was because of my exhaustion. And I think I was actually able to keep my emotions in check better being so extremely exhausted than I have been before. And it was really, it was really nice because any time I was frustrated with the kids or anything, you're smiling at me. I see you in the camera. I caught you. I caught you. <laughs> um, it was... I don't know, for some, somehow, like, I think God just really gave me a lot of grace and a lot of extra patience to be able to, um, it just kind of go with the flow, and if something happened, like, you know what, it's okay, just stay calm, and just use, <laughs> you're so happy, just use nice words, and be happy, and not let the situations, like, overcome me, and get me frustrated, so, um, I would love to hear it in the comments below, what things have you been surprised with of, like, doing a really good job at, and, and if you can't think of anything, I want you to think about that this next week, like, um, focus on the positives, because it's so easy to focus on the negatives and beat yourself up about stuff, and I know I'm really good at that, and I'm surprised that that didn't happen this last week with being so exhausted, um, yeah, I guess it helps when you have a baby that smiles at you every time you talk. Yeah. Do you help mommy be happy? We're just a team, huh? We make each other happy. I meet your needs, you meet mine. Um, which actually brings up another topic that I would love to talk about next week. I'm going to talk about something that I learned. If you watch our family vlogs, we went to the D6 conference, um, which is based on Deuteronomy 6. And uh, one of the things that we learned about was unplugging from others and plugging into God for your source of uh, met needs. And, yeah, so I think we'll talk about that next week. That'd be a really good topic to talk about. And thank you for that, Toby, for giving me next week's topic. Say, you're welcome. Hi. <laughs> All right, so subscribe. So we will talk about um, unplugging from others and plugging into God for meeting your needs and getting your source of life from God and not others. So I will see you next week and make sure you thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Actually, thumbs up this video for smiles from Toby. It's like I trained you. You're just ready for the camera, huh? Yeah. He says, I can have my own show. I'm good at that. Are you going to talk too? You're so happy. All right. Well, we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.